Congrats, it's closing day, you made it. Let's talk about what to expect today and moving forward. First off, what do you need today for closing? Make sure to bring at least two forms of ID. One needs to be a government issued photo ID, driver's license, passport, something official. If you're military, do not bring a military ID. Although it's valid, we're not allowed to make copies of it. So for that reason, we can't use a military ID. The second form of ID can be almost anything. A credit card with your name on it, debit card, really anything that has your name on it can be used for that second form. The other thing to make sure to bring is any funds that are needed for closing for down payment or closing costs. You should have received an email from one of my licensed sales assistants containing your final closing disclosure. That email and document show how much is needed at the closing table, and the email also provides instructions for providing that. You either need to bring a cashier's check made out to the appropriate party, or send a wire directly to the title company. Again, all that information can be found in that email. As you're closing today, you'll see one document called your first payment coupon. The first payment coupon is what you'll use to make your very first mortgage payment. Of course, we're not in the stone age. You'll be able to set up easy online automatic payments, but first the loan has to get through post-closing and get set up in servicing. Until that happens, you may have to make one or two payments the old school way. Cut out a check, cut off the bottom of the temporary payment coupon and mail them in together. Here's an example of what the temporary payment coupon looks like. The bottom portion is cut off and sent in along with the check to the address shown. There's also a phone number on here if you prefer to call and make your payment via ACH over the phone. Once your loan is set up in servicing, then you're going to receive a couple different correspondence from us detailing what you need to do to set up those automatic payments. The first thing you'll get is what we call the goodbye letter. The goodbye letter is gonna let you know who the final servicing of your loan will be with. Most of the time it's with us, guaranteed rate. However, sometimes it can be going other places. Guaranteed rate does billions and billions of dollars of loans every single month, so we can't service every single loan, but we do service the majority of them. Regardless, the goodbye letter will detail who your loan will be with for the long term. The next correspondence you can expect is the welcome letter from whoever that long-term servicer is. The welcome letter you'll usually get a week or two after you see the goodbye letter. The welcome letter will provide all the information you need to know to set up online automatic payments, whether it be with us or someone else. Even if your loan is staying with us, you'll still receive the goodbye and the welcome letter. It's all a standard process, so it'll look the same regardless of who that final servicer will be. Now, one of the downsides of buying a house is you're gonna start getting a whole lot of junk mail. It's definitely worse a few months after you close, but unfortunately it's gonna continue probably the whole time you own the house. When you buy a house, that information is public record and lots of solicitors will use that to try and sell you different things. Your lender guaranteed rate is also public record and they'll use that information to try and trick you. Be on the lookout when you receive mail to see if it's actually from us, showing our company, our logo, things they cannot impersonate. If the letter is saying your lender is guaranteed rate or your loan is with guaranteed rate, it's probably not from us, especially if the colors are off, our logo's not there, or anything along those lines. Here's some examples of what some of that mail can look like. Some of the most common junk mail that you'll receive are post-closing surveys or mail trying to sell you insurance on the loan. The insurance on the loan may look like a great benefit, like they're gonna pay off your loan if you can't for any reason because of death, disability, or something along those lines, but it's all a ripoff. These things are greatly overpriced and rarely pay out, so please don't send anybody money or anyone information without checking with me first. Lots of this mail can be really tricky, and it really can look like it's from us or like it's very important. If you ever see something like that, please text me a picture, email me a picture, reach out to anyone on my team so we can review with you. If it is something important, we can quickly point you in the right direction to get it resolved. If it's junk, we'll be quick to tell you that as well. Congrats again on closing on your home. Now remember, I don't just wanna be the guy who does your loan every five, seven, or 10 years. I really wanna be a mortgage advisor for you. We pride ourselves on advising you with all things mortgages. So whether it's a general question, evaluating a possible next move, or just evaluating your current situation, please reach out anytime, we're always here to help.